Good morning. Today we're talking about God restoring the ministry of Peter. This is found in Matthew chapter 16. Our scripture today reads, Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. When Jesus chose Peter to be his disciple, he was just an ordinary fisherman. But Peter experienced a miracle of Jesus by catching boatfuls of fish and quickly he repented of his sins and decided to follow Christ. Jesus then said to Peter, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. When Jesus walked on the water, Peter was the only disciple who climbed out of the boat to walk towards Jesus. He was an enthusiastic, strong and outspoken disciple. But for all his strengths, he had several failings in his life. Still, the Lord chose him and continued to shape him into exactly who Jesus intended Peter to be. Peter boasted and said to Jesus, even if I have to die for you, I will not deny you. But during Jesus' trial, when Peter was confronted, he denied knowing him. He later felt ashamed and unworthy of Christ's love. After Jesus' death, Peter went back to his old business of fishing. But Jesus showed up again and repeating the same miracle from when they first met. Then Jesus asked him, Peter, do you love me? And Peter answered, yes, Lord, of course I love you. So Jesus responded to him, if you love me, then feed my sheep. Jesus asked the question three times. Christ wanted Peter to understand the confirmation of his ministry. And soon he became a powerful leader among Christians and performed great miracles in the name of the Lord. Just as Peter publicly denied Christ, he publicly accepted the ministry of Jesus. Jesus forgave and restored Peter. He recommissioned him as an apostle. When we honestly accept our weakness and ask for Christ's strength, God is faithful to forgive our setbacks and restore us to our rightful position in His kingdom. Mm -hmm.